Did you know that if not for one pivotal event, football wouldn't exist as we know it today? This mind-blowing event is the secret that shaped the beautiful game. From its humble origins to the grand stage, here is a tale of an extraordinary journey through the evolution of football. Are you ready to discover the deepest secret about football that no one wants you to know? In the late 19th century, a game emerged that would forever change the sporting landscape. But in ancient times, particularly the medieval era, football wasn't exactly the structured game we know today. Instead, it resembled a wild spectacle known as mob football. Think of it as a chaotic battle between rival towns and villagers, with an unlimited number of players tangled up in a hilarious frenzy. Their mission, to wrestle an inflated pig's bladder across the field to reach their goalpost. So I guess it's safe to say there was little or no ball hogging going on. <laughs> okay. The football we know today can be traced back to a pivotal moment when a group of innovative minds sought to create a standardized version of the sport. It all began in the bustling towns of England, where various forms of football were played, each with its own rules and regulations. But in 1863, a significant event occurred that would shape the future of the game. The Football Association, FA, was established, laying down a set of common rules that would govern the sport and provide a framework for its development. Key figures emerged during this period, such as Ebenezer Cobb Morley, known as the father of football, who played a pivotal role in drafting the initial set of laws. His 13th law, which stated that no player shall wear projecting nails, iron plates, or gutta percha on the soles or heels of his boots would make you wonder how the game was played back then. These laws laid the foundation for the game we love today, including elements like the concept of goal kicks, throw-ins, and the prohibition of handling the ball. As football gained traction, it spread beyond the borders of England, captivating hearts and minds across Europe and beyond. In 1872, the first international football match took place between England and Scotland, paving the way for the global phenomenon that football would become. Over the ensuing decades, the sport continued to evolve. Tactical innovations emerged, with teams exploring new strategies and formations to gain an edge. In the early 20th century, figures like Herbert Chapman and Jimmy Hogan revolutionized the game with their forward-thinking approaches and emphasis on teamwork and creativity. The advent of professional football in the late 19th century allowed the sport to flourish further. Iconic clubs were founded such as Real Madrid, Manchester United, and Bayern Munich solidifying football's place in the fabric of society. Legendary players like Pele, Diego Maradona, and Johan Cruyff enchanted fans with their extraordinary skills, showcasing the beauty and artistry of the game. As the game of football evolved, so did the playing styles and tactics. From the early days of physical, direct football to the modern era of technical, possession-based approaches, the sport has witnessed a captivating transformation that keeps fans on the edge of their seats. One of the pivotal figures in this evolution is Renus Mikkels, the mastermind behind Total Football. As a coach of the Netherlands in the 1970s, Mikkels revolutionized the game by introducing a fluid system where players could seamlessly interchange positions. This dynamic approach not only emphasized creativity and attacking prowess, but also required players to be versatile and adaptable. With the likes of Johan Cruyff leading the charge, the Dutch national team showcased the true beauty of total football, mesmerizing opponents with their intricate passing and intelligent movement. Another visionary coach who left an indelible mark on the game is Arrigo Sacchi, leading AC Milan in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Sacchi introduced a high-pressure, pressing style that transformed the defensive aspect of football, known as Il Matodo. Sachi's tactical masterpiece focused on aggressive pressing, relentless teamwork, and tactical discipline. Under his guidance, AC Milan became a dominant force in European football, winning back-to-back -back European Cups in 1989 and 1990. Sachi's influence can still be seen in the modern game as teams strive to replicate the intensity and organization of his renowned Milan side. Johan Cruyff, not only a player but also a remarkable coach, introduced the concept of total football to Barcelona during his tenure as the manager. Cruyff's Barcelona teams of the early 1990s 
popularly known as the Dream Team, showcased a possession-based style of play that emphasized quick, intricate passing and positional awareness. This approach, later referred to as Tiki Taka, became synonymous with Barcelona's success and influenced teams across the globe. Under Cruyff's guidance, Barcelona won four consecutive La Liga titles and their first ever UEFA Champions League in 1992. These coaches, along with many others, have played a crucial role in shaping the modern game. Today, we witness teams implementing various styles and tactical approaches, each with its unique flair. From the tiki taka of Barcelona to the high-pressing intensity of Liverpool, football has become a canvas for innovation, where coaches and players continuously push the boundaries of what is possible. So whether it's the Catanaccio, the DeGeneres, or any other strategic approach, the ever-evolving nature of football tactics keeps us guessing, marveling at the creativity and ingenuity on display. And there's a way you could learn these fantastic moves in seconds. You could subscribe to Kicker World for more intriguing and educated football videos. So go ahead and kick that subscribe and like button now to get training started. The modernization of football also came with a few perks as it not only improved fairness and accuracy but also added an extra dose of excitement to the beautiful game. For example, the offside rule. Originally, players could be called offside even if they were not interfering with play, a rule that caused frustration for many attackers. But things got a lot better when in 1990, a breakthrough occurred and the rule was revised by the Scottish FA to consider whether a player was actively involved in the play. This change unleashed a new era of attacking prowess and goal-scoring wizardry. Penalty shootouts, or the lottery of football as some call it, have provided nail-biting drama for decades. Introduced in the 1970s, penalty shootouts have given us unforgettable moments of triumph and heartbreak. From the iconic Panenka chip by Antonin Panenka in 1976, to the nerves of steel displayed by Cristiano Ronaldo. These high-pressure situations have become a true spectacle within the sport. Now let's talk about technology's impact on football. The introduction of video assistant referee, VAR technology, brought a fairer and more accurate dimension to decision making. No longer do we have to endure controversial handball calls or unjust offside decisions. VAR has stepped in to provide clarity, ensuring that matches are decided based on the correct interpretation of the rules. But innovation doesn't stop there. Goal line technology also revolutionized the game. Gone are the days of debates over whether the ball crossed the line. Thanks to cutting edge technology such as the goal line camera system, we can now enjoy definitive and accurate goal decisions within seconds. It's a win-win situation for players, fans, and even goalkeepers who no longer have to make the phantom save. The talk about modern football wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about two of the greatest to ever walk the pitch, Pele and Diego Maradona. Pele from Brazil had the football world in a chokehold from 1956 to 1977. With his style of play, he transformed the game into an art form in its own right. His three FIFA World Cup triumphs with the Brazilian national team solidified his status as one of the greatest players of all time. And who could forget the hand of God and the goal of the century by the enigmatic Argentine Diego Maradona. His sublime skills and audacity propelled him to greatness. Maradona's impact on the game remained unparalleled as he was generally regarded as the top footballer of the 1980s. In more recent times, two names stand out, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. These two superstars have redefined what it means to dominate football in their unique ways. Messi's nimble footwork, dazzling dribbling, and telepathic connection with the ball have garnered him numerous individual accolades and record-breaking goal tallies. Ronaldo, on the other hand, is a physical powerhouse known for his blistering speed, lethal finishing, and remarkable athleticism. When it comes to iconic teams in the history of football, the 1970 Brazilian national squad led by Pele is often regarded as the epitome of artistic football. In more recent times, the tiki-taka playing style of Spain's national team, which dominated the 2008 European Championship and the 2010 World Cup, revolutionized football tactics. Their intricate passing and positional play left opponents bewildered and fans in awe. As football heads into the future, exciting changes beckon. 
Imagine more lenient offside rules, advanced VAR technology for real-time decisions, and wearable tech providing instant player feedback. Virtual reality could transport fans into the game, experiencing matches from a player's perspective. The fusion of sports science and football promises optimized performance and reduced injuries. These possibilities offer a tantalizing glimpse into the exhilarating future of the beautiful game. Buckle up for an extraordinary journey into the unknown as we eagerly await the unfolding chapters of football's evolution. How far do you think the evolution of football could go? Let us know in the comments section below.